All right, what's up guys? It's Zayo here and today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how to make Fortnite thumbnails. It's going to help out a lot of you guys that are trying to make thumbnails for uh, your YouTube videos. It's going to be completely free guys. No like hack or anything like that. 1000% free. So what you're going to do is download this program called paint.net. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So just click on the link and download this program. Once you download it, it's completely free again guys. Uh, you want to get a picture, right? You can either go into your, what what is that mode called? Theater mode or whatever it's called. Your recordings and get a picture. Or you can uh, just Google a picture, right? Wherever you want to make your thumbnail. And then also there's going to be a website. I'll put this in the description as well. You're able to get any skin you want, a picture just like this, um, off this website. It's called fnbr.co. So what you want to do is go to that website, click PNG. That's pretty much just a picture file and you want to find your skin right click it and uh, just open it in a new tab that's going to blow it up and then save it and once you drag it in here there's going to be like checkered marks behind it this is where everything's erased okay so imagine like you just went over eraser and erased everything okay so nothing is going to show up when i do that so when i copy him it's take your selection select them Control c go back over to your picture you wanna gonna you're gonna wanna press Control Shift N makes a new layer over here. Uh, I'm gonna take off the webcam and stuff, guys, just so you're able to see a little bit better. Go you to fully see. So you're gonna press Control V to paste it and press Keep Canvas up. Now, personally, I like my guy facing the opposite way. So what you wanna do? Press Enter. It's gonna get rid of that selection. Press Layer and press flip horizontal if you want the guy to switch directions i'm going to press this tool right here you can drag him around and uh, make him larger okay now if you hold control and scroll down it's going to zoom you out hold shift and uh keep dragging them into like the size you want somewhere like a bit bigger you know how normal youtube videos do it you know something like this this is going to be real quick you guys are going to want to spend more time on these steps i'm teaching you uh, but I'm just trying to do it real quick for the video so you guys get the gist of it. You're able to put more time into it to make it look better. So I'm going to create two versions of this thumbnail. One is a basic generic version, which most of you are going to be using. But for those who want to download this plugin called uh, Gradient Mapping, I'm going to try and leave the link for that in the description as well. But if I can't find it, just look up uh, Gradient Mapping plugin for paint.net. But first, I'm going to teach you guys the generic thumbnail that most of you are going to be doing and then for the other one it's more of like a ninja type style thumbnail i have a lot of them on my uh youtube channel if you want to check it out that use gradient mapping go ahead and subscribe guys if you want more in-depth tutorials and stuff like that and let me know what other types of videos you want to see so anyway uh go to your background layer guys so click background press adjustments and then go down to hue slash saturation you want to drag your saturation up until you think it pops out and looks good. I usually find around 120 trick. Sometimes you go a little bit brighter, like 125 looks good to me. Right? It makes it pop out a little bit more. And uh now usually you want to highlight guy in a black color or a white color. We'll do white for my dude here. So click on your layer, press duplicate, right? Click on the top layer, take out your magic wand. You're gonna turn the tolerance up a little bit, guys. This is gonna be how many pixels it's selecting. So, like, I, I don't exactly know how it works, but 61%. When I click on pink color, anything that's like 61% close is gonna work. Where if I turn it down, see less selection. I'm gonna turn it up to like in the 60s. Don't want it to be too high. Just uh, fully select your guy. All right there we go. If you accidentally click over here or something, just press Control Z. Uh, make sure you're holding control as you're selecting more pieces now click your line tool right here and your brush width up i'm gonna put mine to a thousand uh, we're gonna put our first color as white and just drag down left click and press enter twice now go up here to effects go to blurs volume blur change this up to five about five okay now this is going to make it a little bit blurry which makes the white pop out more so you move the layer down and the white is behind the bunny 
So we're going to duplicate this a few times and then we're going to merge it down. Okay. So do this a couple times and this is going to make the white stand out more. Now, I did this super quick so you see how the white is a little bit faded and stuff. So if that happens to you, you're going to want to just go back to your selection and turn it down. Like I guess 62% was slightly too high. Or what you could do is select like this and fill it in with white. There's also trick yeah but again just take a little bit more time than i now after that you're going to add your text so Control shift n again is to make a new layer we're going to merge now uh, so i'm going to get my text usually you like to put this for a 1080p picture to about 130 oops put that 30 select text this one we're going to do Fortnite, and then I'm gonna make a new layer. Control Shift N. I like making the text different uh, sizes as well as fonts. Makes it pop out more, in my opinion. I thumbnail. That's gonna trick. So we're gonna drag it how we want it. All right. Now it's kind of hard to see at the moment, but you'll see what we're gonna do to fix that. So now. Merge the two layers together. Pick out your selector tool. Tolerance up to like 61% or something. And hold control down and start clicking all of the letters. The white part. Select every letter for you. There we go. Now you want to duplicate it. Select your line. Switch it to black this time. Uh, scroll over. Press enter twice. X. Blurs, collision blur. Do the same thing as last time, guys. Move the layer down, and then you want to copy it and merge it times. Now your text is going to pop out like that. Go back to your white layer. We're going to click on this, right? And we're going to select all of the bottom text. We're going to make it like a yellow, red type thing so click on your first one put it to yellow second one red again you could do this with any color I'm just using this as an example you're gonna press this for your gradient tool there's different options up here you could choose they do different things as you can see right so for this we're just gonna use the generic one you're gonna drag from the top straight down like that press enter twice and you have a decent looking thing again this is really quick and rough draft now if you want to add the triangle type things on the edge on the border I'll show you how to do that like ninja and other famous youtubers do change your brush width to about 75 so you have white press this shape tool go down to star and you drag it and drag it until about how you want it and you just want to Take your selection thing right here, select this, press control C, delete the layer you made, make a new one, and then control V will paste it. Now you control V, press enter, press layer, rotate. You could rotate it however you want. This okay. You can uh, drag it to where you want, then control shift N, make a new layer, control V. And do the same thing guys rotate it however you want right drag it and then after you do that you can merge it after every time so you don't have a ton of layers and just put it how you want and that's gonna be that and for the more advanced version for those again you have to download this what's called uh, go into effects or no adjustments gradient mapping download this plugin um, I'm gonna go to your background Adjustments, gradient mapping. Click on your darker one. We're going to make it a blue. So a dark blue. Press OK on the white. Make it a light blue. Press OK. Mess around with darkness, lightness. That, and that's how you use that tool, guys. Now, for those that want to learn how to brighten the sky and stuff, what you could do is add a new layer above where you want. Take out your paintbrush. Put it to a pretty high number. 1,000. Make your hardness very low to like 20% or less. White, right? And we're going to go to the sky where we want it to be bright. We're going to click 
couple times and click your layer layer six click this thing it's going to be your properties go to mode press overlay right it's already looking better now what you can do is change the opacity down so you like how it looks right this is super quick but i like how that looks and makes it pop also do the same thing by changing this to black and making certain spots darker as you can see so that looks pretty good in my opinion i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next Peace out.